Over 6 million Americans are currently living with Alzheimer's disease, and this number is on the rise with our aging population. The problem is that we still don't fully understand what causes Alzheimer's. We know a lot about the pathology, but we are missing key links that will allow us to find a cure. One of those key links may involve inflammation in the brain. In addition to neurons, your brain contains other cell types called glia. Glia are known as the helper cells for neurons and play important roles in immune function, metabolism, and neuronal communication. The brain of someone with Alzheimer's has more inflammation than someone without Alzheimer's. This inflammation can be measured by looking at little signaling molecules in the brain called cytokines. In the brain, glia are constantly reacting and releasing different cytokines to communicate with the surrounding cells about what is going on. Some cytokines are pro-inflammatory and cause the activation of other inflammatory molecules, beginning an inflammation cascade. Meanwhile, other cytokines are anti-inflammatory and act by decreasing production of and inhibiting inflammatory cytokines. To understand the inflammation cascade in Alzheimer's, I created glia that have a genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's. Then, I aggravated the cells by adding the pathological proteins that occur in Alzheimer's. This caused the glia to react by sending out cytokines. I measured these cytokine levels, then used mathematical modeling to compare how the cytokine signaling patterns differ in healthy versus Alzheimer's cells. To see how these inflammatory patterns affect neurons, I also took the media containing the cytokines the glia released and put them on the neurons to see how they react. We saw that Alzheimer's glia secreted less of almost all cytokines compared to healthy glia. The neurons that received media with less cytokines also died at a higher rate. Our results show that the genetic risk factor in our Alzheimer's cells altered the inflammatory cascade, decreasing vital support to neurons. We hope that our results in future directions will help us determine the mechanism for inflammation affecting Alzheimer's pathology so that we can help find a cure for Alzheimer's.